Yep, they're doing the Dosa Flavor Contest in Canada yet again. And they got four finalists, and I am stoked, to say the least, to try the, all of these. Well, it costs an arm and a leg to ship it from Canada, and trust me, I nearly had to cut off both of my limbs just to get them. Somehow, some way, I'll scoop some out. And of course, it breaks as I go and do this. Work with me. Yeah, there you go. Lay's cinnamon bun. This is from Gloria Melanson. And where is she from? So basically, Gloria's inspiration was her grandmother. She'd be, um, fuck. <laughs> that smells like cinnamon. Again, these chips got crushed. Dang it, postal system. Again, I'm just... God, it's hard finding a non-crushed chip in here. Dang you, Postal Service. All right, here we go. This is the best I could do at finding a, a non-crushed chip in there. All right. <laughs> Simulated flavor. <laughs> at least they're honest. Day three, who the hell's still watching this? So as you can see, these are the wavy lays. The other two that I reviewed prior were just the regular lays. <sighs> How the hell can I talk today? Oh, dang it. Again, some crushed chips in transit. Dang you, Postal Service. Postal Service, why the hell you do this to my chips? I mean, they just look really cheesy. It's really hard for me right now to detect if there's any jal jalapeno flavor in there. Dang, chips are getting stuck to my teeth. <laughs> Frickinators. This is again going to be a high 4 out of 5 for me. I think it would get a, a, a fudge. Ah. Oh. Guys, you don't want me to film tonight, do you? This is really, really... <laughs> the guys don't want me to film tonight. Dang it. Randall Littman, I think they did you really well... Am I having more fun tonight? Yeah, at least you stuck together unlike the other chip. So Denise's inspiration, basically, she... I'm happy to report that these chips, because they're kettle cooked, probably that's the reason why they made the trip without being... <sighs> a bunch of you guys probably know, especially if you've been watching my, ch my stuff for a long time. <sighs> Shit. I'm so partial toward poutine that this is it right here. If you were in Wavy Lay's form or even in Kettle Cook form, it would have been a lot closer. No, it wouldn't be. If this bacon poutine flavor were in the thicker Wavy Lay's uh, format or in the Kettle Cook form, the decision would have been 10 times easier. I'll say that much. It was six. Fuck. I'm going to tell you what, Lay's. You did me good on this one. Fuck. I hate my life. The other flavors, yes, I would still recommend those, but they're just slightly below on the notch. What does that mean? 